Hi, I'm Ravenous, the best friend you know you needed, and today it's time to clean out my closet. And by today I mean it this morning, it's 1 a.m. <laughs> am I a dumbass? Maybe. But is this when I'm awake? Usually. Ah, uh, ADHD. It's a terrible, terrible thing. Uh, it's also a million degrees in Southern California where I live. Hi, I'm sitting here editing this and I thought I'd interject a few things. Uh, it is the end of February. It's about to be March. I started this in like September. Oh my god. Uh, I'm trying to get back into YouTube. I kind of got really, really, really fucking depressed and then I didn't do it. And I just kept not doing it. Then I met a new friend and honestly I kind of just lived life for like a little bit and now I am trying to get back to me. So I will be putting up YouTube videos. I will be back to streaming, redoing my room. It's, it's all happening. It's happening. Anyways, back to the show. Which is why I'm wearing shapewear, not because I think I'm fat, but because I don't want my legs to stick together because I'm starting with all my dresses. You might see Ravenwell, oh my god. There's so many dresses. Are all your dresses like red? No, this is just the red ones. So yeah, I'm gonna be cleaning out my closet, hopefully making some room for eventually new stuff, you know. You love to shop that never goes away mostly i'm hoping to make way to like poshmark some of this stuff i have a, a kind of knack for finding bargains and deals and things so i just kind of scoop stuff up when i can and then sometimes i just don't wear it i used to have kind of a fancy job where i had to wear like fancier clothes and i don't really anymore um so kind of stuff just sits and there's no point in that so i thought maybe i would try some of it on see what fits and what doesn't fit or what's just maybe not my style anymore and then yeah i just realized my fan is still on so i'm gonna turn that off which means i'm gonna sweat my balls off but it's gonna be a better sound you're welcome <laughs> so most of my closet is in rainbow order i don't know it just makes my brain happy so here we go currently i am a size I'd say a 20-22, depending on what it is. 1X to a 3X. Sometimes I sneak into an 18. I mean, it really doesn't. It's kind of, you know, whatever. But I'd say my main size is probably a 20-22 um, and about a 2X. Uh, when I shopped at Shein last time, mostly everything was a 4X, which was a little rough. There's like a little moth that I know he's going to hit me right in the face. Uh, every once in a while, back in the day, when I used to go to tour like a lot, they have a really cool collection of retro chic stuff and like hell bunny stuff it's specialty stuff that usually you can't get in store but occasionally somebody will return something and then you can scoop it up it's a little big a little stretchy but like stretchy big which isn't horrible yeah i think i'm gonna keep this and just wear it more plus i it's got uh because it's that soft cotton it's like doing that thing where you know soft cotton does that like fade after you've had it a little while so I wouldn't want to donate it, and I definitely don't think I could sell it for anything worth getting rid of it. It's too, it's too cute. It's just too cute. You know? It's just too cute. It's got a little bit of a twirl. Yeah, I'm keeping it through that. Next! I have only worn this once to a wedding. It's very fancy. Like, if I was gonna, like, you know, throw down in the corporate world, this is what I wear shit like this. It's very nice and I forgot oh it has pockets oh god how, how good is that when you're just like oh my god my new dress <sighs> yeah I remember that feeling Ooh, it fits really really nicely uh, it's very very stretchy which I know when I zip it up it'll tighten a little bit but not really that much I hate to say it but this is going to the Poshmark pile I love this dress like a ton and I only got to wear it once. Oh, it's a 24 wide, that's why. That makes sense. First one for the Poshmark pile. Okay, I am so fudging happy. My, I almost just put this in the to the cell pile. Ah. So uh, I have a mother-in-law and then a stepmother-in-law. Oh, life. Um, and my stepmother-in-law, we're kind of a Scottish Terrier family. We've had Scotties for a while. Um, we don't have any Scotties right now. Unfortunately, they passed away a little while ago. But she got me this dress a few years ago, and it was too big to wear it. But she got it for me because um, she got it from like a little custom shop. It fits. It's completely zipped up. It's so cute. It's all retro. Only thing I don't like about it is these are fake pockets, which is silly. But it's got little pocket flaps, 
It's got like a little like, like retro like little collar. I'm obsessed with it. Like just like super duper like crazy obsessed with it. <laughs> All right, this is easily another one for the Poshmark pile. Uh, not only is it not really my style anymore, it's like just like, it's cute, don't get me wrong, but it's a little tight in the armpit. I have, you know, what I like to call my second and third boob. The ones I'm allowed to show on the internet. They uh, are a little smushed, so if you have like a little bit of a smaller arm, it would be like perfect, or if you just don't have these, lucky bitch. So I'm not gonna try this on, because I usually wear something underneath it anyways. I'll insert a couple of photos of me looking super fucking fly in it. It's great. I'm not getting rid of it. It's like one of my favorite dresses. <laughs> so this is one of my many nice soft cotton t-shirt dresses. I fudging love these. Once again, I'll insert photos of me looking super fly in this. I'm not gonna try it on. Don't need to. For, for a New Year's Eve celebration, we went to the Gossip Grill here in San Diego, which is a local lesbian bar. Super fudge and fun, especially on New Year's. Oh God, bun was a poor choice when you're gonna be trying on clothes. So it's a little short, but it's kind of kind of what I like about it. Uh, plus, it's got like a little underskirt under, which is like like even an inch shorter than the dress. Um, if you have a little bit of a butt like me, it definitely will peak if you aren't careful. Um, but I don't really care about stuff like that. <laughs> Plus I wear shorts a lot of the times, just in case, because I live in Southern California. It's either like windy or sunny and windy or like beautiful and windy. I'm very lucky, don't get me wrong. I think I'm gonna keep it for now. Keeper, love it. It's got a cute little cross back, super adorable. So this is one of those dresses that I might get rid of even though I love it because it's really, really tight on the arms. And even though I can, like deal with it it's like not worth it to me i haven't even had this that long i've actually only wore it once so i, I wore it like this last time with like a little um camisole underneath super cute definitely going on the posh mark it just it's just so uncomfortable and i just don't want to have to like i don't want to have to layer it and then be uncomfortable because it's already like tight and not like tight in a fun way you know what i mean Cause this isn't like a stretchy fabric. It's like a linen, so it has no give. Oh, it's so cute though, too bad. I dread putting this on right now because it's so hot in my room and it's like really long sleeves. Luckily the cotton is really soft. It's really cute though. It's surprisingly see-through. I mean, I have, I do have a lot, I do have a lot of lights on, but still it's surprisingly see-through. Um, it's super cute. It's really long sleeves. It comes to about mid calf which is kind of a nice little length and it has like a lot of movement, which is really cute. Is, it, is there surprise pockets? No. I really like it because of how full the skirt is. I never realized how full the skirt was because like I said, I've never, I've never worn it. But yeah, that's super cute. But yeah, see that's, that's precious as well. I actually have this one in another color, so I probably won't try that one on. I love it. It's one of the best little dresses that I've ever found at Ross. If I ever see it in any color, I'll probably buy it. It has pockets. Oh, it has a perfect little V for you. Perfect, perfect little dress. So I haven't worn this one yet. I brought it with me to Vegas. I actually got a little sweater that has like polka dots on it. It's like see-through to go over it. It's, this is actually one of my favorite dresses and favorite finds that I've ever found. Um, I haven't uh, got it zipped up all the way out the back because it's just too hot for that noise. You can see probably my face is really pink. Uh, like a nice see-through tool sleeves. Um, it's not an itchy tool, which is nice. And it's all like ruched and gathered. And then it has like this cross gather here. It's got a little bit of a flow. It's lined. Um, once again, I'm into mustards right now. I found this a few months ago along with two or three other dresses. It's just very, it's like a little, it's like almost like a little too fancy. You know what I mean? Like I don't have anywhere to go yet. Get in here, honey bear. Finally made it to the greens. I've never worn this dress. Still has a price tag on. I have ADHD, and along with my ADHD, I have tactile things. I don't really like certain the way certain things feel. And this is just like a little too scratchy for me. 
It has a really, really soft inner dress to it. Again, it's a, which is completely separate. It's like a little shift dress. Very, very soft, which is why I thought I could wear it, but I just, I can't do it. It even comes with like a little, the front of it has like, it's not an actual belt, but it's a little um, sewn in like pleather clasp, which is super adorable. Honestly, I wanted this to work so much, but I just can't do it. Literally one of the prettiest dresses I own. Hopefully I'll be able to wear it somewhere, someday. Um, this is one of those dresses that I scooped up the second I saw it. Didn't have an occasion for it, didn't matter. It takes care of all of my like Slytherin fantasies. It's like, oh, look at that. Look at that skirt. Now that's a flowy skirt. <laughs> I love it. It's like a, technically like a leopard print, I think in like a velvet. I don't know, it's really soft though, and I'm like the hugest fan, like the hugest fan. So it's just like a, this is a 3X bongo dress. It is in, in like a hunter green. I actually got these because Damien was overseas and I needed dresses that were, you know, <laughs> no cleavage. <laughs> I'm doing better this time. It's only 10.30 p.m. instead of 1.30 a.m., but it is, however, uh, like a week later. <laughs> and I only got to green last time, so. So the camera died. I don't want to say that the universe doesn't want me to do this, but uh, it's getting real hard to <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Serotonin has died and the room is still covered in clothes. So I've, I've had this dress for a while. Uh, I believe it's from Torrid. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I like this a lot. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the asymmetry, but uh, it has a nice swishy bottom too. And the underneath is like a little bit shorter, which is nice, but it gives good kachankas. So we're keeping that. Googly Bear and I were supposed to go to Europe for my birthday for like a whole month. I saved up like forever, but we were never able to go. I got this and a, a few other ones. The yellow one that I tried on earlier, it was really tight in the arms, so I cut the arms in like a little spot, but it, it kind of sits funny now that I cut it. I think it would be nice for a photo shoot, but I just don't know if I'm ever gonna like wear it. Yeah, see, it's a like it's like a weird wonky tightness right here in the armpit. And if I hadn't cut it open, so that way my my chicken wing could hang out a little bit, it would be like way too tight. <laughs> hello, hello, cutie. I mean, it's a good dress though, but like I kind of messed up when I cut it because like literally look. My, my fat chicken wing hangs out. I mean, I guess I gotta keep it in the wardrobe. Oh, it's like it's literally like floor length and it's so flowy. Like I said, good for a photo shoot, but I probably won't like wear it anywhere. Because the second I'm like, yeah. <laughs> this is actually a Forever 21 dress. Sometimes Forever 21 is like the crappest quality. But this dress is such a nice quality. I've yet to wear it though, because we don't really go like hotty for shoddy places. We started doing stuff like right before the pandemic hit the last like few months because I was like working a lot and making some really good money. We were going to a lot of fun places, but then COVID. COVID. That is so hot. It's got such a good like scalloped like line and it, the fabric is just thick enough that it like hugs. I know I should be wearing this, doing this without my shorts, my butt probably looks all out and lumpy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One hundred percent keeping this. I need to wear it somewhere. I just need to wear it. Like it's literally just a sweater. Like why not? So this dress looks phenomenal on me. I'm gonna insert a picture here of me wearing it recently because I actually wore this one recently. I tried the yellow one on earlier, and it's the same, literally the exact same dress. Just I found it in a uh, blue and green plaid. Love it. It's wonderful. Super cute. It's making me realize though how much like olive green I have. I think I don't need to keep that other dress. Hmm. Um, I love this one though. It's like just flowy enough. It has like a little tie. Uh, it's nice and off the shoulders, but it's thicker here, so it actually stays up your shoulders. It doesn't do that weird like thing by the end of the night, which sucks. And then these buttons are actually real, so you can go from like not too much boob to like just realized that the fans were on for the last like you know few minutes so uh the audio for that is probably gonna be atrocious um i have had this dress literally i think 
almost the entirety of me and Damien's relationship. I've worn it to one of our friend's weddings. I've worn it to his college graduation. And I just can't bring myself to get rid of it because no matter what size I've been, for some reason, it's like sisterhood of the traveling pants up in this piece and it fits no matter what. So I can't decide if I like this or not. I know I have my shorts underneath so it looks a little... <laughs> but I love the color. I love the concept of it. It's a cute little just like baby doll. I would never belt it. I would always keep it just like a nice little like, you know, like 60s like mod style. But I don't know. I feel like I've grown out of this kind of a little bit. Like I like baby doll stuff still, but I just don't know. I think mostly maybe I'm just hot. <laughs> I don't know. This is like definitely one of those maybes that I'm gonna, when I watch this back, I'll make a decision on. It's definitely, it's, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely a maybe. I really like it. I like the color. Once again, I'm a, I'm a green girl. But the main thing I like about it is the amount of fabric that's in the skirt. So it's actually got a good twirl. Yeah, you gotta have a good twirl. You gotta have a good twirl. I also like that it has like a little bit of a, like a, like an over, it comes over a little bit because I have my, my third and my fourth boobs, the ones I'm allowed to put on the internet. It's nice and loose there, so I don't have to worry about it. And it'd be really cute, like just like a little white belt. I'm not the hugest fan of the way it's cut here, but it's not uncomfortable and it's really stretchy. So, Caber, I have worn this dress many a times. It's one of those like really soft uh, cottons, but it's not like those kind that like peel really easily. So this has been washed oodles and oodles of times. Like I said, you know, <laughs> and I've actually only worn it once i think we did family photos and i wore it for a family photo where i stood there for like 20 minutes and then i took it off and got right back into pajamas because it was christmas time <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna be sad to let this one go but it just doesn't fit the way i like anymore i didn't even want to put it on on camera like i started to put it on it was like immediately like yeah, yeah, yeah. another one bites the dust so this one still has the tag on it as well Ooh. it's a perfect little dress it's got a little um, keyhole for your cleavage. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they're the perfect length. They go just above the knee and I have them in so many patterns. <laughs> Whenever I find a new pattern, I buy it if I can. It's wonderful and adorable and I, it's one of my favorite dresses. I actually bought a little purple shirt that goes underneath it. This will actually be in the Ross haul video, which is coming up um, probably in like a month. I don't know about this one. This one's really old. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, I don't like that. No, no, I, don't, I just don't like it. Like, I know I'm like a little like sweaty and irritated right now, but like, that's just not, it just doesn't fit the way I want it to. What size are you? Oh, that's why it's a smaller size. I have had this dress for a few years as well. Um, I've only worn it twice, I think. Is a Doctor Who TARDIS dress. I know, right? Ugh. Best part. It has pockets. It has pockets. It has pockets. It has pockets. Uh, this is one of those, I went through like a really big retro phase where I still am kind of in it, but I don't wear it nearly as often. Now I'm more in like a, I don't know. Now I wear like a little bit of everything, whereas I used to wear like a lot more just like only like swing dress types of stuff. I really, really love this dress. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. These are detachable and you can wear it strapless. I have worn it a few times over the years. Uh, it's got like a crinoline base, but it's also lined with like a silk, which is nice. So it's not super, super itchy, which is good. And it makes the skirt like stay like puffed. I think it's going, I think it's going to the, ah, let's get rid of it pile. It doesn't like say anything. It doesn't spark joy. It doesn't spark joy. This is something that I have never worn. This is one of the few things also in my closet that was purchased full price. That wasn't like something I found like on sale. $70 dress. My mother-in-law got it for me because she was like, burn your body, wear tight stuff. You only wear like loose stuff. And I was like, you're right. So I bought something tight and then I never wore it. But now I wear tight stuff and I just always forget it's in there because it was bought so long ago. But like, forget the shorts underneath. Like, 
Look at how hot that is. Like, right? Like, fuck. Like, damn. Like, I need to wear it. Yeah, I need to wear it. Uh, I need to wear it. Uh, I need to wear it. Yeah, the shorts underneath. A little lumpy. Sorry about that. <laughs> but no, I love it. I don't know why I never wore it. Self esteem, man. It's crazy. I don't know what happened over the years. Gotten a lot more of it. So I put my fat tummy on the internet. Because I literally don't give a shit anymore. Um, I like me. I have a husband that loves me. I love him. Recently got this. I found it in a clearance pile and it was $5. So I kind of had to have it. There was in, I think it was two other colors. And I almost bought them just because. Um, I like it. It looks a little wonky because my shorts are anything. It's a little tight. It's a little see-through here. I don't really care about that. I would be wearing it with this bra, which is like a nice royal blue, like the bottom, so it would kind of match. The other thing I thought that would be cute would be like, if I had like a little like tank, like in the winter, like layer, it would be cute, or even just like a little cardigan. Both me and my camera are overheated, so we're gonna have to give up, I think, partway through the blues. This is one of my favorite dresses. I actually have it in a another color. One of my favorite dresses, super comfy. Not too much of a flow factor, which is okay. Um, yeah. This is the other one. I got it in this, and then literally like three hangers later was this one, and I was like, do I need both? No. Did I get both? Yes, because they were like $9 a piece, and they're so cute and comfy. This is a jumpsuit. I will not be putting it on. Technically, it's not a dress, so I don't owe you anything. And it fits really well. It's really soft cotton, and I've never worn it. <laughs> this is just a basic t-shirt dress. It's super cute. It's very short, but I'm okay with that, especially with like a little white belt or red belt. Like you think, oh, it's such a, like a plain, a plain dress. And I'm a magical girl. I'm just saying. So this is one of those dresses that I bought for Europe. Um, I'm really sad. I've never gotten a chance to wear it. It's a little fancy, so like, where would I wear it uh, during COVID? I have no idea. I expect it to be in some, like, restaurant in London or Scotland somewhere. And yeah, uh, it's itchier than I remember. Normally, I don't buy stuff like this. I'm pretty sure I bought this because I started was like, oh my god, that's precious. I will be keeping it because it fits perfectly. And even if it is, like, a tad itchy and kind of shits glitter everywhere, it's beautiful. Sorry, but it is. And it would look great for a photo shoot, but no, I would I would wear this somewhere because it's it's gorgeous. Somebody get married, invite me. Um, lesson learned: don't try on something when you're sweaty that poops glitter, because you'll just be <laughs> you'll just be you'll just be shiny. <laughs> oh god! Thanks for watching. Join me in a week when I do the next chunk of my clothes. I honestly think this is going to take at least three parts just for the dresses alone but I fully plan to do my entire closet. And if you're a plus size babe just like me, you can find my Poshmark link below and all of the stuff that I'll be Poshmarking will be posted as soon as the video is posted. Bye! Thanks for joining me.